Uh. Now, if you left the quiz at home, first of all, I say to you, a plague upon you. But if you left the quiz at home, that's the first time a teacher ever threatened me with a plague. Well, I'll get used to it. Um, talk to me later, perhaps, perhaps in honor of Thanksgiving, perhaps I'll be merciful. If you didn't do the quiz, take your zero like an adult. If you did part of the quiz, mark that which you got done and give yourself zeros on that which you did not do. If you lost the quiz, sadly take your zero like an adult, but also you might want to ask me for another copy of the quiz so you can follow along and make it a learning experience. Um, lost, left at home, didn't do. I'm not going to worry about dog ate it. Uh, I, think, I think we're good. Number one says, convert the following, one mark each. Oh, and we did add one more thing. I think we said that you needed uh, one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. Because I forgot to include that in there. Convert the following, one mark each. I am good at the dimensional analysis method. So it's what I'm going to use. I don't care how you got the right answer, as long as you can get the right answer every time, Sydney, I'm good with that, okay? Uh, as long as it wasn't by looking over at Simon and just writing his, but you know, as long as you actually can get the right answer, I don't care what method you use. I always went like this, 4,325 kilometers. I always said to myself, self, I want to get rid of kilometers, so I want it on the bottom, I want meters on the top, and I know 1,000 meters is one kilometer. And then I would say, oh, it's going to be 4,325 times 1,000. It's going to be 4,325 times 1,000, which I probably could have done in my head. 432500. 4,325,000, and then three zeros after that. Is that correct? One mark. Sadly, all or nothing, because part marks are pretty tough to get or give here. B, moving across. So I would have gone 560. I would have said I want to get rid of megagrams. So I want megagrams on the bottom, and I want grams on the top. Uh, mega is 10 to the what? Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Duick. You cleverly gave them that over here. Mega, 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 10 to the 6th. So, one megagram is 10 to the 6th grams. I think it's going to be 560 times 10 to the 6th power. And I get a big number here. I get a 56 and 7, uh, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I get a 56 and 7 zeros. 56 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Did anybody go scientific notation because they're in chemistry or physics? 5.6 times 10 to the 8th. Yep. No? Yes, that's why I just wrote that there as well. Otherwise, I wouldn't have written that there as well. I would have just said like that. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. 35 meters to millimeters. Let's see. 35 meters. I want to get rid of meters, so I want that on the bottom so that it cancels with the meters that are on the top. Millimeters. Milli is uh, I, 10 to negative 3? I better look, Mr. Duke. Yeah, it is. 0 0.001 or 10 to negative 3. So, uh, 1 millimeter is, you can either put a 0 0.001 there or if you're in physics 11, you can put a 10 to negative 3 there. It's the same thing. One millimeter is as big as 0 0.001 meters. It's way smaller than one meter. Uh, this is going to be 35 times 1 divided by 0 0.001. Except I'm not going to mark us with the times 1. That's a waste of time. It's going to be 35 divided by 0 0.001. And you get, I think, 35,000? 35,000? People nodding? Perhaps we're right. 2,500 grams, I want to put that into centigrams. So grams are on top, I want grams to cancel, I want centigrams to be left behind on top. Centi, I think it's like this, 
I think one gram is, or sorry, one centigram is 0 0.01 or 10 to the negative 2 grams. <coughs> I think it's going to be 2,500 divided by 0 0.01. Is the answer 250,000? People nodding? 250,000 centigrams. Now, with one mark for each of those, question two, I really debated whether it was one mark or two marks because I'm going to do these in two steps using my dimensional analysis method. You can do them in one step if you just look at how far apart they are on the chart. But here's what I would always have done because I hate memorizing stuff and I had a method that works. I would have said 45 kilometers. I want kilometers to cancel and I'll get it into meters. That's what I wrote. Can't you read my writing at this stage, Jordan? What, do you really need glasses? Good gosh. I'll make it, is that better? A three now? Candy for you later. Let's try that again. As I was saying, scene one, act one, take two, and action. 43 kilometers. I want to turn that into millimeters. Like a little, okay. Um, I would get rid of the kilometers first and go to the meters in my method. And I know that it's 1,000 meters is one kilometer. And I would say, woohoo, now I'm in meters. But I don't want to be in meters, Jordan. What do I want to be with in? So I'm going to continue my dimensional analysis method. I want meters to cancel, top and bottom. I want millimeters here. And when I looked up the conversion factor, I think one millimeter is 0 0.001, or 10 to the negative 3 meters. And then I can say to myself, self, I'm going to go 43 times 1,000. Uh, times 1 divided by 1. Am I going to bother doing those at all? No. Uh, divided by 0 0.001. 43 times 1,000 divided by 0 0.001. And I'm going to get a 4, a 3, and 6 zeros. Yes? Forty-three million. I do that a lot, by the way, get used to it. Again, this is going to be a two-step. So I'm going to go in my method from milli to mega in two steps. I'm going to go 6,500 milligrams. I'm going to say I want the milligrams to cancel. I want just, oh, not meters, Mr. Duick. I want just plain old grams left behind. And I know that uh, one milligram is 0 0.001 grams. Mr. Duick, how do you know where the 0 0.001 goes with? Does it go with that? Or that? You'll notice I'm putting the number from your chart in, in the dimensional analysis method, Sam. The number from your chart always goes back to the base unit, next to the base unit, next to the base unit, the one with no prefix, next to the base unit, the one with no prefix. So I know that it goes there. Uh, that would give me uh, grams. Oh, those golden grams. No, I want to get a little bit more than that. I want to go, as a joke, no, tough audience. Uh, get rid of grams. Yay, grams will cancel. And I want to end up in megagrams. And one megagram is 1 million or 10 to the sixth. I'll write 10 to the 6th because it's less writing. Oh, not there, Mr. Duick. Silly rabbit. How about right there, 10 to the 6th? So this is going to be 6,500 times 0 .001 uh, times 1, forget that, divided by 1, forget that, uh, divided by 10 to the 6th. Or do I buy a billion? And I get an answer in scientific notation. Now, if you wrote down what your calculator says, because I haven't done scientific notation in this course yet this year, if you wrote down 6.5e minus 6, or whatever your calculator said, I'll give it to you, as long as you have a 6.5 and a negative 6 somewhere. What this really means, however, in scientific notation is 6.5 times 10 to the negative 6. Who is in chem or physics this year? Who is not in chem or physics this year? Do you do scientific notation in biology? Okay, so you haven't seen it. Do you do it in earth science? Anybody in earth science? Okay. The other thing this is, is 
point one, two, three, four, five. I know you did scientific notation in math ten, but I also re sorry in science ten. I also recognize that there's cobwebs left over after science ten, and I'd feel uncomfortable taking marks off for something that I haven't reviewed with you. So I would accept this. I would accept this. Or I would accept if you just copied out whatever your calculator puked at you and you wrote it down yourself. Is that okay, Am? Begley? Convert the following. One mark each. Okay, now we're going from metric to imperial. Anybody here work construction? Okay, they're still imperial. It's still all inches and feet. Lots of places are still inches and feet. In fact, most of us measure our height in inches and feet. Most of us measure our mass in pounds. Most of us don't say, I'm 63 kilograms and 182 centimeters tall. Right? So we haven't quite got the metric completely taking over our lives yet. So the point of that is it's worth learning the basics of the imperial system. So how many inches in one foot, boys and girls? Do you guys know? 12. See, most of you have just picked up on that. Certainly if you play sports, basketball or football in particular, because those are yards and feet, feet and inches, yeah, absolutely, you probably picked it up there. How many feet in one yard? Depends how many people are in there. No, no, I'm not. How many feet in the length of one yard? That was a joke. See, a yard is behind a house. How many feet are in the... How many people are in... Tough audience. Okay. How many feet are in one yard? Three. Why 12 and then three? Because the imperial system is stupid. It's stupid. Metric, everything is tens. It's pretty easy to figure out. Imperial, you have to memorize everything. Here's my favorite. How many feet in a mile? 4,000? No. 5,000, that would be a nice number. No. Well, how about 5,100? That wouldn't be a nice number. Be okay. No. How about 5,200? No. How many feet are in a mile? 5,280. And where the heck did they... Why? Huh? What a stupid number. Because the mile originated on its own and had nothing to do with feet. And the feet also became a standard of measurement. By the way, what do they measure your weight in, in uh, Britain? Not kilograms, not pounds. Stone. Yes. And if the, you don't think you have a weight problem, I mean... How many stones do I weigh? That'll make me feel nice and light. So, we're learning some of those. Not all of them, but some of them. 320 centimeters. Do I have a conversion factor on the chart from centimeters to inches? If not, I'll have to build a chain. Do I have a conversion factor? Seeing no answer, hearing no answer, I better go look. Ah, inches and centimeters right there. I could also use this one right here. Either of these is fine. They'll give you the same answer. I'm going to go like this. Centimeters on the bottom, inches on top. And according to this chart, one inch is 2.54 centimeters. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. So it looks like I'm going to go 320 divided by 2.54. Uh, Sam times by one. Am I going to bother times by one? No. Or... You could have used the other conversion factor. Now, the other conversion factor says one centimeter is 0 0.3937 inches. So you could have gone 0 0.3937 inches is one centimeter. Believe it or not, you'll get the same answer no matter what. You'll get 300... You'll turn the calculator on, Mr. Doak. You'll get 320 times... 0.3937. Is the correct answer 125, 126? Okay. I'm good. So did you go with 125.984? I'll live with that. If you want 125.9 on a test, I take a half mark off because what's next to the 9 and 8? Let's pretend the 9 would round up, right? There's something called truncating. Truncating is when you just throw away the remaining numbers and don't look at them. Rounding is what we do here and then. By the way, what nice decimal is 0.39 really close to? It's meant to be really obvious. What nice decimal is that really close to? 0.4. 
if you're ever out in the quote unquote real world and you have to go from centimeters to inches, and you will at one point in your life, multiply by 0.4 in your head. How do I multiply by 0.4? Times by 4, divide by 10. How do I multiply by 4? Times by 2, times by 2, divide by 10. And I'm going to pretend most of you can handle your 2 times table and your 10 times table. Sydney, that's what we did on construction all the time. You're accurate to two decimal places. That meant you're accurate to that much. You know what? In construction, you don't need to be more accurate than that. You just got good at it after a while. And you started to memorize certain values that kept coming up. I used to know eight feet and centimeters right away and vice versa. Not anymore. Mr. Dick? Yeah? What happened to B and why are there two Ds? Let's pretend this is B, and that's C. Oh, 80 miles to kilometers. Let's see. 80 miles times, I want miles to cancel, so I want that on the bottom. Kilometers on top. Please tell me they gave me a conversion factor. Ah, they did. One mile is 1.6093 kilometers. 1.6093 kilometers is one mile. So I'm going to be going... 80 times 1.6093 should be close to 100. 120, I stand corrected. 128.74. I'm going to call it 129. Jordan, if you didn't round off, that's just fine. I don't think I said in the instructions what to go to, so. 100 yards is how many meters? C. It's going to be close to 100. Because this is a meter. This is a yard. Yard's about that much shorter. So 100 of those, it's going to be roughly 100 meters, not quite. Let's see. 100 yards, and I want to get rid of yards. Do I have a yards to meter? I do. 0.9144 meters. 0.9144 meters. And thankfully, my yards cancels 100 times 0.9144, I can do that in my head. 91.44? Like I said, 100 yards is close to 100 meters. 91 meters and a half, just about. D, 400 meters is how many feet? Okay, 400 meters times, now I want to get rid of meters. Ah! 0 0.3048, 0 0.3048 meters is one foot. Or you could have used uh, this one here with the 3.2808 next to the feet and the one next to the meters. Same answer. Uh, 400 times one divided by, oh, don't need to go times, Mr. Duick, divided by point. 3048 is the answer 1312.335958. I'm going to call that 1312 if that's okay, Jordan. 1312. Turn the page. No, don't turn the page. Number four. Silly me. Two marks, that means this is going to be multiple steps. 3.5 miles. I want to end up in centimeters. Do I have a miles to centimeters conversion? No. What do I have? A miles to what? Do I have miles to feet? Oh. So Jordan has spotted the shortest way. I can go from miles to feet from feet to inches, and then from inches to centimeters. It's going to be a three-step chain. Not that much work. Uh, 5,000, 5,000. What a stupid distance. Mile, feet, one mile is 5,280. And now, Jordan, we are in feet times feet, inches, 12 inches in one foot, and now we are in inches 
times inches centimeters and it was 2.54 I'm going from memory is that what it is yep is one inch I like the dimensional analysis the building the chain method for me because first of all I'm not scared of fractions like some of you are secondly it is the method that requires the least amount of memorization you know two or three conversion factors and you can get there you'll notice Martin even though I gave you this column here I really haven't used this Marcus I said Martin you notice Marcus even though I gave you this column here I haven't I hardly use it this conversion factor does both jobs for me let's, let's memorize it uh, what's the answer? 3.5 times 12. How about times 5,280 times 12 times 2.54? Survey says. Is the answer 56320? Sorry, 563270.4? No one? Did I type it in right? That? times that, times that, times that. Inches cancels. There's 12 inches and one foot. 2.54 centimeters and one inch. 5,080 feet and one mile. I, I think I'm right. Yes? I think I am. 563270. 5, Point four centimeters. How would I give out part mark? Well, first of all, you got the right answer. You get two out of two. If you got the wrong answer, but I could see that you tried using this approach, I give you one mark out of two. Turn the page. Boston buys 14 kilograms of chicken for 91 bucks. Nicole buys 20 pounds of chicken for 65 bucks. What's the unit rate that Boston paid for the chicken? Unit rate is how much for one unit, one thing, one chicken in this case. That's why the word unit is in the title we're talking about. How much for one of whatever we're talking about? Well, I think it's going to be $91 divided by 14 kilograms should give me how many dollars per one kilogram. 650? I don't know. Six dollars and fifty cents per kilogram. What's the unit rate that Nicole played? Hmm. Well, sixty-five dollars for twenty pounds. She paid three twenty-five a pound. You could write pound. Abbreviation is LB. By the way, in math, never write a lowercase vertical L because it looks like a 1. You'll notice I always do my L's as curly L's so you can tell it's not a 1B because you might think that later. Who knows? Did anybody convert that on this line to kilograms? So I didn't say you had to, so I take this for full marks. Okay, 325 a pound, 650 a kilogram. Which one's cheaper? Well, first, part C says convert Nicole's unit rate from dollars per pound to dollars per kilogram. Okay. 325 dollars per pound. Once again, I'm going to use dimensional analysis, my little chain trick. Shay, where is the pounds on the top or on the bottom here in this fraction? So to get it to cancel, I'm going to put it on the top in the next fraction. And what do we want to go from dollars to what? It's dollars per pound to dollars to per what? Kilogram. So I'm going to try saying I want to see, do I have a conversion factor for pounds and kilograms? There is, except it's not on your sheet. I told you to add it. As it turns out, 2.2 .2 pounds is one kilogram. And now I can say I've converted. My pounds cancel, one on the top, one on the bottom. The only units left behind are the dollar sign, which is dollars, and the sign, which is kilograms. Looks like it's going to be 3.25 times 2.3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 3.
let's try that again if you look. 3.25 times 2.2. You get $7.15? Yes? No? Uh, per kilogram. Which chicken is which chicken is cheaper? Was Boston a better shopper or was Nicole a better shopper? Bam. Oh yeah, just look at Nicole. I mean, yeah. Absolutely. Look at Boston. He exudes shopping con confidence. Well, he exudes something anyway, I'll tell you that. Turn the page. Every year, the World Hot Dog Eating Championship mm, hot dogs, oh, 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 is held in New York at Nathan's Hot Dogs. This year, true story, the champion had eaten 12 hot dogs after 120 seconds and 45 hot dogs after 450 seconds. We're going to graph time in seconds. What does HD stand for, do you think? Hot dogs. You could say dogs. I mean, whatever. Hot dogs in... What are the units for hot dogs? Is there a special unit set aside just for hot dogs? Then I'm not going to include a unit this time. In physics... Who's in physics 11? Okay, in physics, we would say, now label your graph with a title and scale. We're just doing a rough sketch. I glance at this, the smallest number of hot dogs mentioned, oh, hang on, that goes on the y-axis. Smallest number of hot dog mentioned is 12. Biggest number mentioned is 45. And it says 12 seconds occurred 120 seconds in, 45, sorry, 12 seconds, 12 hot dogs occurred 125, 20 seconds in, 45 hot dogs occurred 450 seconds in. I have a point right there and a point right there. By the way, this slope, positive or negative, and how can you tell at a glance? Positive, why? How come? Yes. Let's connect it. Let's try it again with a straight line, Mr. Duke. What's my rise? Because that's what slope means. From 12 to 45. What's my rise? 33? What's my run? Sorry, Jordan? 330? You don't have to write rise over run. I just do on a quiz or a test so I don't make a sloppy mistake. I told you about the student on the physics exam, right? I had a student named Henry about, oh boy, six years ago now? Came here, challenged everything. So he got his math 12 as a grade 11 student, count 12 as a grade 11 student. Grade 12, he took physics 12 with me. He hadn't been able to fit that in. And I figured he might be my first ever student. Maybe, maybe, maybe get perfect on the physics provincial. Oh, that would be cool. So he comes back down. Back then, they used to let you keep the provincials. So you, we would send yours in, but there was always a few extra copies. I would take one down. I would work on my answer key, and then the kids could come down and compare their answers to my answers. It was a nice way to end the year. They weren't secure back then. So he came back down, and we're going over one of the questions, and it's actually very similar to number six. It's a graphing question. And the slope that we all had, that we, you had, that you had, that you had, that I had, that you had, that you had, we all had a slope of a half. Henry said, no, 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 the slope is two. I said, no, 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 it's a half. No, I got slope of two. I noticed that a half and two are reciprocals of each other. Henry. As far as we know, the only mistake that he made as a top physics 12, calculus 12, math 12 student on the physics 12 provincial was he went run over rise instead of rise over run. So Emily, I decided then and there, that's preventable. You know how it's preventable? I write rise over run. It takes one second. So I'm willing to bet he didn't write that out. He did it all in his head. And I'm willing to bet he just 
did the first thing first and put that on top. Speech over. Math back. Here we go. Uh, rise is 33. Run is 330. Is the slope 0.1? Yeah? 0.1 what? Hot dogs per second. If I wanted units, I didn't ask you for units specifically, but th that tells me something. It tells me how fast he's eating, the rate at which he's eating. Based on this information, how long did it take to eat one hot dog? Sorry? Let's see. Point one hot dog. Oh, how about try that putting the point in the right place, Mr. Duke? Point one hot dogs in one second equals one hot dog in I don't know how many seconds. Pause. You see how I came up with that? Now I'm using proportional reasoning cross multiplying. I think that's also a useful skill. Did you make it, Joe? Ah! Nothing. Sure. I'll yell again if I need to, you know. I care. I scare because I care. Is that from Monsters Inc. or something like that, I think? Okay. We scare because we care, right? By the way, you know there's a new one of those coming out? A sequel, like next year, I think. Um hey, what's X? Well, I can cross multiply. If I cross multiply, I'll get point one X equals that times that equals 1 times 1, or plain old 1. Sam, how do I get the x by itself? Yep, by what? Which one? No pun intended. Which one? Get it? Which one? Which what? Which what? Sorry. So x is going to be 1 divided by 0 0.1, 10 hot dogs in a minute. No, in, a, in 10 hot dogs, that's not right. 10 seconds for one hot dog. If the contest lasted for 10 minutes, how many hot dogs will he eat in 10 minutes? Right now, you cannot do the question as is. You cannot solve this question as is. Before you go any further, you have to do something. What's the first thing we have to do? I heard someone whisper it quietly. You're right. Maybe I didn't hear someone whisper it. Maybe I'm just hearing voices. I need to check. Yeah, I want seconds because that's what all my previous stuff is. If I remember any of my previous stuff, I better go to seconds. Um, Ten minutes is how many seconds? One minute is how many seconds? Ten minutes is how many seconds? Six hundred? Right? So here's what we're going to say. 600 seconds. Let's see. 600 seconds times. I want seconds to cancel. I want hot dogs on the top. And Jeremiah, here is my conversion factor. Or here is my conversion factor. But I'll use this one. 10 seconds is one hot dog. Is that okay? It's going to be 600 times 1. Is that going to make a difference, Jeremiah? Say no. It's going to be 600 divided by 10. In your head, what is 600 divided by 10? Can you do it? Can you do it? In, all, in actuality, last year, he was 62. Almost bang on to that continued pace, but he managed to sneak in somewhere in those 10 minutes two extra dogs. 62. I love hot dogs. No way. I think the most I've ever eaten was six, and that was when I was like young and could eat, you know, anything, right? 62. Give yourself a score, please. Add them up. Give yourself a score out of, count them, 20 on the very, very tippy-toe top. If you need to come lawyer... Sorry for those of you who are watching this at home. I forgot to unpause the lesson, so we're partway through. We're on page 35. We've already jumped to 3B. Sorry. Technology is not perfect. Sue me.
Oh, heck, I'm giving you free lessons online. Shut up. Uh, hello to all my internet followers. Yes. 3.5 times 100. You guys get... Uh, no, not 3,500. 350? Is it 350 uh, kilometers? And then part B asks the question that I just talked about. Is the answer a realistic estimate for the actual driving distance? No. Flying? Sure. Driving? No, because roads wind. And again, if you wanted to find the actual driving distance, a piece of string works fine. Uh, often on maps, they'll have each length of road will actually have a small number in very, very light font next to it. That's how many kilometers between th th this chunk of road is. And then you'll see here's another city, another road, and there's a number next to this chunk of road. Oh, that's 70. So you can add your way there as well. That's the most common way nowadays. So is this accurate? No. You need to measure. Curvy roads. That would give you a more accurate measurement. Next page. Oh, I didn't get my shark yell online then either. Oh, well. Tyler's scale diagram of a tower is shown. The actual tower is 240 meters tall. Write the scale Tyler used. So this time, instead of them telling me the scale and saying, find the actual measurement, now they're telling me the actual measurement. First thing we need to do is measure the diagram height. What is that height in centimeters? How tall is the tower? Is it exactly 8? I'm betting 8 because this is 240 and 8 goes into 24. I'll bet you it's 8. Okay. So 8 centimeters on the drawing is 240 meters in real uh, 240 meters in real life. This time we're not being asked to find a missing value. Instead, we just want to take this scale and reduce it to lowest terms. What numbers go into 8 and 240? Well, as it turns out, 8 does. So if you divide 8 into 8, you get 1. What's 240 divided by 8? 30. This scale, 1 centimeter, equals 30 meters. So 1 to 30 scale. Uh, in statement form, 1 centimeter equals 30 meters as a rate, 1 centimeter colon 30 meters, or you could write 1 centimeter over 30 meters. As a ratio, 1 to 3,000. What? Where'd the 3,000 come from? 30 centimeters is three, sorry, 30 meters is 3,000 centimeters. Ratio, I want to have the units the same. So centimeters to centimeters, or I could have done meters to meters. And I know that there's 100 centimeters in a meter. That's one worth memorizing, by the way. Last one, we're done. Kylie from Abstract Renovations designs a plan for a candy store to be renovated. The scale drawing on the plan of the candy store is one centimeter is the same as 50 centimeters, so it's a 1 to 50 scale. What are the actual dimensions of the storage room if the scale diagram is 8 by 12? Okay, we'll have to deal with the 8 and we'll have to deal with the 12 separately because they're two different dimensions says here that my scale is 1 centimeter is the same as 50 centimeters. Which is the real life actual measurement of this scale, the top one or the bottom one? 
the bottom, which is the plan off of the diagram measurement, the top one. So it says the scale diagram is 8. I think it's saying the plan says it's 8. What's the real measurement going to be? And I'm going to use the same scale over here. It says the plan is 12. And you know what? Since I already used X, I'll use the letter Y because why not? Cross multiply. X equals 8 times 50, 400. Cross multiply. Y equals 12 times 50, 600? Uh, units, centimeters. That there is still, Jeremiah, somewhat useful. I worked construction for three summers. My dad worked it most of his life. The blueprints usually would have the conversions done for you, but sometimes some of the small lines on the blueprints, they wouldn't have bothered, and you would need to go, oh, okay, it's 1.5 inches here. That's going to be 15 feet over in real life. You'd have to do the conversion that way. It's possible they do it now with technology because I haven't worked construction for about 15 years. Although, from what I remember of construction workers, they weren't the most embracing of technological advances. They still like the hammer, which, you know, I guess it works, but nail guns work. Okay. B. What are the dimensions on the plan if the dimensions of the chocolate section of the store are to be expanded to be 3.5 by 4.75 meters? This 3.5 and 4.75, is that from the plan or is that real life? Well, what are they asking me? What are the dimensions on the? What are they asking me? What are the dimensions on the plan? So I think this time it's going to be, and again, I'll do the 3.5 over here. And I'll do the 4.75 over here. It's still going to be 1 centimeter to 50 centimeters. But this time, I think X is on the plan. Real life is 3.5. It's still going to be 1 centimeter over 50 centimeters. But this time, I think Y, I'll use Y, is on the plan over 4.75 Devin, how will I solve this? Now, this time when I cross multiply, I get x times 50, which is 50x equals 1 times 3.5, which is 3.5. Here, I have to do one more step. How do I get the x by itself? More specific by what? Yep, because sometimes kids divide by 3.5 for some god unknown reason. x is going to be 3.5 over 50. 3.5 divided by 50, 0 0.0 centimeters. Try finding y on your own. I'll freeze the screen. Yo, almost. I'm probably going to give up the homework and make three minutes. 50y equals 4.75 divided by 50, divided by 50. get that and that? I have an answer. Sam, what did I just goof on this because I was in a rush thinking ahead? What did you just say, oh profound person who gets count them two candies because it was two mistakes? Repeat yourself, Sam. So you're saying I can't put a 3.5 there because that units is centimeters. What number should be right? It's easy to fix, though, thankfully. What number should be right here? So I'm just going to go like this, and let's walk through the first answer and see how that changes. It's going to be a 350 right here, right?
which means it's going to be a 350 right here, which gives me a what? 7. Seven, thank you. That was dumb of me. Apparently, I'm not the only one that's dozy. And the same thing over here. Instead of 4.75, we need to convert that to centimeters, 475 centimeters. And that would give me a lovely 475 centimeters right over here. You're just erasing the decimal, right, folks? And that's going to give you, I think, 9.5 instead of 0 0.095. If I'd done that on purpose, that would have been great teaching. Sadly, I didn't. I wish. Okay. What's your homework? Sorry, with take-home quiz and the lesson, you're only going to get about 10 minutes. Normally, you get more. But the homework is going to go pretty fast. Homework. Number one. Homework. Number three. Hey, Abbotsford, I grew up there. Homework, number four. This is just like the little tower question. Here's your mascot. Number five. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip. 10. I'll shorten it a bit because I talked a long time. So you got 10 minutes. Take advantage of this. If you got an email from me this weekend saying that you were missing some assignments and you want to show them to me in the next 10 minutes, that would make me really, really happy. Just bring them up here and I can type them right in if you want to. Or you can hand them in back there and I'll get to them tonight or tomorrow. Jordan, yes, you may hustle back. Who's calling my beloved name? Hey, Courtney. Hang on. Let me just hit stop.